Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to tell you all about my experience with taking Tessa Marlin, which is a peptide. And I've been meaning to make this video now for weeks, to be honest. This is my, or I'm just about to start my seventh week taking it. So I've been on it for six weeks already. And it just took me forever to make this video because I wanted to have like enough substantial experience with taking the peptide, with seeing some of the benefits, experiencing some of the drawbacks, and just being able to like get to a point where I can give you my really honest assessment. And so it's taken me this long to say like, okay, now I'm ready to tell you all about it and kind of where I go from here. So I have been taking 0.5 milligrams of Tessa Morlin for now six weeks. I take it six nights on, one night off. And Tessa Morlin, if you are not aware of what it is, it's one of many peptides this one is actually FDA approved for HIV patients who are on medication that tends to increase the visceral fat that they have in their abdomen. And so it's been shown to reduce visceral fat around the stomach area. If you've seen any of my videos or have followed me for a while, you'll know I don't carry a lot of fat in my stomach area. So it wasn't necessarily a reason that I wanted to take this peptide, but it also had other advantages such as better sleep, more energy, more stamina, more strength in the gym, and so, and, and others. But these were some of the ones that appealed to me. I have terrible sleep. Even since I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and treated for it, my sleep is still pretty horrific. And as a result, my energy in the day is usually not as high as it could be, I feel like. So I was thinking to myself, like anything that could be like somewhat natural, FDA approved, improve my sleep and enhance my energy, like that sounds great. Oh, and you can like get rid of some fat, like that sounds like a good option. But I didn't have like super high hopes. I didn't think I would like, my whole body composition would change because I'm already pretty lean. But I thought like, as I reverse diet out of my show, maybe this will kind of help meet me in the middle so I'm not gaining a ton of body fat. So I started taking it, it actually comes in like little boxes like this. Um, I go through Transcend, which is an online clinic. They treat a lot of athletes and lifestyle patients and they have a ton of different peptides. And so I mix it together and then I inject myself every night, six nights a week. And for the first one to two weeks, I would say my sleep actually got worse. I was just having night sweats. I was not able to stay asleep. Um, I was having trouble falling asleep. And so it definitely did not improve my sleep upon the first couple of weeks. So I gave it more time. My sleep gradually improved, meaning it went from like night sweats and waking up many times in the middle of the night to like less sweaty or not sweaty and waking up less frequently. So it's not like it went great. It just went terrible and then like, you know, leveled out a little bit. My energy really didn't increase. I didn't feel any difference in that. So anything in terms of like just my general energy or my strength in the gym or my stamina, none of that was improved. About week three, I started to get pretty significant water retention and this is one of the known side effects of it. Now, if you have followed me again, you'll know like I am susceptible to gaining a ton of water weight. And it's just the way my body reacts to foods or drinking or stress or lack of sleep or alcohol, like everything. Everything makes me hold a lot of water, but it's usually like all over my body. Like I just am all over puffy. But in this water retention, I was gaining it in my hands and my feet and my face. So even now you can see like my face is so much puffier than it would be normally. Um, but my arms and my legs and even my stomach gained a little bit of water retention, but for the most part, it's just in my extremities. And so much so where I can like barely take off my rings, which is abnormal. And especially in my feet, like when I wear sandals, they feel tight, which is not a feeling I normally feel unless I'm like flying from coast to coast or longer. So I didn't love that, but I kind of expected it because I know my body holds on to so much water. But anyway, so that was one drawback. So that happened probably around week three, but I kept powering through because in everything I read, 
it said the water retention was transient, meaning it will come, but over time it will go away. So for the next couple weeks, so weeks four to five, again, I'm just injecting six out of the seven nights, not really feeling anything, not really experiencing any benefits, having water retention. And around week five, I started to get pretty significant joint pain. And I actually didn't figure it out for a while, like what it was. I thought maybe because I have picked up my running, I'm training for a half marathon that's in a few weeks, maybe that's the reason or and maybe just like overworking my body between half marathon training and lifting weights and other cardio. And it was so bad, like to the point where I get out of bed, like my feet hurt to like step down on the ground and I feel achy in my knees. I feel achy in my hips, like doing any sort of like squatting. I feel like I have like fatigue to like stand back up from a squat. My shoulders and my neck are like super tight and my hands hurt, like my joints and my fingers hurt to make a closed fist or whatever. And this is like, hits me really hard when I wake up in the morning. I honestly feel like an 80 year old person. Like I, I, it sucks. It takes me about five minutes to just like, I don't know, feel somewhat normal. But even then I never really feel normal. But it's not bad enough where it's like debilitating in the gym or hurting my workouts in any way. So I still lift the same, my grip strength is okay, and it doesn't seem to impact me that much. But like even right now as we speak, just my fingers feel sore and my shoulders, like no nothing can help them. Like literally I've gone to a chiropractor, I've gone to a massage therapist, and I'm just like very stiff. So it occurred to me like reading through the side effects that this is one of the less common, but nonetheless a side effect of tessamoralin. So I was like, of course, of course I get that side effect. It makes total sense that it just happened all of a sudden. One day I'm waking up with like all of this joint pain. So that has been like a really unpleasant experience. And I would say it took me probably like a week to realize it was a side effect from tessamoralin. So from five to six and then six to seven, all last week, I'm just like, you know, kind of going through it. And I talked to my wellness specialist at Transcend and she's like, maybe you start taking the injections in the morning. It could have like a different, your, your body could absorb it differently, which could help the um, joint pain and also the water retention. So I did that for a couple days, but I just made the decision today that I am going to get off Tessamoralin. <laughs> like, it's a very expensive peptide. I'm sure like you can get it all kinds of places for different prices, but getting it from Transcend on sale, 50% off was $1,500 for four months. So that is a lot of freaking money to A, not see any benefit whatsoever at all, and B, not only not like lose any weight, but to get puffy and big and feel like I am heavier than I otherwise would be without it. So. I just decided like, you know, I'm, I'm going to not take the remaining weeks of injections and let my body like re-regulate and go back to normal. And I just think it was an absolute waste of money for me. I don't know. I guess I would have never known without it. And I, I read a bunch of forums and I'm such a geek. Like I like to research everything. So a lot of people say similar to me that they are, they did not or are not experiencing any benefits from tessamoralin. And sorry, I think, I don't know if you say tessamoralin or tessamoralin, but whatever. But then other people who have like a lot of visceral belly fat do report experiencing benefits from it. So there's probably like the right kind of person, the right kind of athlete. But I think if you are somebody who's relatively lean, who doesn't carry a lot of belly fat or have like issues holding fat there, then I wouldn't take it. I certainly wouldn't take it for energy or stamina or sleep. I just like that was like non-existent. And if anything, I just feel overall like a little bit worse. So that is my feedback on it. Unfortunately, I, I just am actually glad that I come to terms with the fact that like it's just a wash. I'm going to waste the rest of it and get on with my life and start to feel a little bit better. Hopefully my husband and I are leaving for Hawaii in a couple days for our 10 year wedding anniversary. And the last thing I want to do is like feel 
puffy from water retention and moving like an 80 year old woman. So I'm hoping that like it will exit my body and I'll start to feel better pretty quickly, but we shall see, but I'm not going to take it today. Yesterday was my last day and I'm just done with it. So that's my update. Actually, what I wanted to mention also is Anna, my best friend slash coach and trainer, she also started taking it the exact same time I did. And she does hold the majority of her weight in her belly. So she has visceral fat to lose. And she did not experience water retention. She does usually experience water retention like similarly to how I do. And she did not experience any joint pain with exception of like she just felt like her hand, one of her hands get a little like tight. She thought maybe she slept on it wrong. And I can clearly see her belly fat like going away. Like her stomach is, the fat is softer and her stomach is not as like extended. So we're not really weighing ourselves. We're just going by look and feel. So I can tell she's lost some belly fat and she's also six weeks in starting her seventh week. So, you know, I definitely think there's some benefit for the right kind of person, but just for somebody who's like lean, that's just not the right, I think, peptide to take. I think there are far better peptides that I've researched for far less expensive to get some of the other benefits. But I'm not an expert. I just started learning about peptides and taking them, but that's my opinion from what I know so far. But however, <laughs> I'm not ending my peptide journey there. I actually just got this in the mail. I am taking, or I will start to take NAD plus. And I'm not gonna go into this now. I will make a different video on NAD, but basically this is really for like anti-aging effects on a cellular level and it helps repair telomeres which really the length of a telomere in your body which you have like billions or millions of lot um, the length of them sort of dictates like how quickly you age and how susceptible you are to chronic diseases as you age anyway it's like a whole scientific thing i was reading about it in my book how Not to Age by Dr. Michael Greger. It's a great book. He also has How Not to Die and How Not to Diet. I have read, or I'm reading two out of the three and they're phenomenal. So if you're looking for a book, definitely pick those up. But he talks a lot about NAD. So I became really interested in it in this book. I bought like an over-the-counter supplement, but I didn't really experience much, which for a number of reasons, there is evidence that over-the-counter supplements don't really like work to improve your NAD, but there's a lot of evidence that showed that the injection does. And so what I like about the injection is that it is two to three times a week for, I don't know, forever maybe. It's a lot cheaper. So one month basically cost me, I think, $230 or $250. I don't remember, somewhere around there. And only a few times a week you have to inject it. And I like the anti-aging idea of it, meaning it's supposed to help with like your skin, but more than that, it helps with your cognitive function, your memory, your energy, your sleep, right? All of these things that Tessa Morlin promised, but there's a lot of really good evidence and studies and anecdotal evidence about the efficacy of an AD plus via injection or via IV. So I'm going to start this tomorrow and probably take it, um, I'll take it with me on vacation, but Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then probably go to like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of thing. You can do it two to three times a week, but so I don't know. I don't know what I'll start with. I'll just kind of see how it feels, but I will definitely update you guys on that. Um, also about the NAD, I had reached out to another competitor, bikini competitor that's similar age as me, which is 43. And I know she has taken peptides, although I never knew. She never said which one, but I had DM'd her privately and just we were talking back and forth about it. And she says that she takes NAD from the same transcend place where I get it. And she had really great things to say about it in terms of like just her overall feel, her energy, her skin, her hair, all that kind of stuff. So again, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. There are no like negative side effects associated with this that I could find, which is great. So no, hopefully water retention or any other things that are gonna like not be super advantageous. But I will make a, another video on that, but this is my one and done with Tessa Morlin. 
If you are taking it and love it, like great comment below so anybody watching this video can get your feedback as to how it's working for you. But if not, this is just my two cents on it and I hope it's helpful. So stay tuned for NAD. If I feel anything like within the first week, I will definitely update you guys on that. And if I don't feel anything for like weeks to come, I'll just update you as soon as I have something to share, positive or negative. So that's it. Talk to you guys later.